They dropped a camera in Mouthful. What they saw shocked the entire world. This is what's being captured right now. Like this video, share this video because I'm coming at you with part three. This is a Christopher <laughs> Nolan uh, trilogy <laughs> we got up in here and we're gonna check this uh, hole out. I mean, the entire world know about this hole. This is the only hole that everybody knows, guys. Roll it. Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing. A bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. Yeah, the whole that the entire world know about now. Like, it, it's shameless right now. Bro. Do like, you really know the truth it. about Mel's Hole? Nestled on Mel Waters' land in Manistash Ridge, west of Ellensburg, Washington, this abyss swallowed endless amounts of refuse, from household garbage to broken appliances, without showing any signs of filling. Yeah. More than a simple pit, its mysteries deepened with animals avoiding it. And we talked like previously about this, right? Like imagine you're a demon just sitting down there, just minding your own business. Somebody comes and drops like their fridge on top of your head and it hits your head, right? Obviously you're gonna be mad. So I'm on the demon side uh, in this one, guys. And unexplained radio signals emanating from its depths. In 2017, a bold team dropped a camera into its enigmatic void and the revelations oh. shocked the world. Their okay. discovery prompted an immediate retreat, highlighting the peril within. Join us as we reveal the incredible story of Mel's Hole. <laughs> Malastash okay, Ridge, Leslie. west of Ellensburg. Hide your kids, hide your wives. And I wonder if, you know, there were so many people looking at the hole. I wonder if that's real. Washington, Mel Waters discovered something that would pique the interest of everyone who would hear about it. Okay. On Mel's property was a large hole, seemingly a well. But don't be mistaken, because this is not a well. For a very long time, it served as a trash dump for Mel and yeah. other property owners. They would yeah. dump anything in here, ranging from regular household garbage to broken appliances and old tires. Yeah. Anything that needed to be dumped was going in here, but oddly enough, the hole never really filled up. <laughs> this naturally raised Mel's curiosity because... And then later on, we figured out that the government apparently tried to fill the hole and they were successfully able to fill the hole. Uh, yeah, shout out to the, the US uh, government out there. Given all true. the garbage that had been Wait dumped in there, it would have been filled or close to filled. But that's not all. Yeah. Some odd things started happening around the hole and even his dog started avoiding this area. Whenever he was close by with a radio, the signals would be all over the place. But the crazy- Thanks for subscribing, guys. If you're brand new, it's a pleasure to have you. If you are into UFO content, conspiracy-related paranormal videos as well, consider subscribing. The easiest thing about this hole is that there is no apparent bottom. But what was it about this hole that was so fascinating? Over the years, you may have heard a few stories or theories circulating about Mel's hole. Fast forward to around 2017, and a group of researchers managed to find the infamous hole and even go ahead and explore what? it. However, no. when they lowered the camera down the hole, they found something that would completely shake them up. In fact, it was so terrifying that the only option they had was to flee, because at this point, their lives were at stake. Holy but before we can find out what... Okay, so yeah, uh, in the first two parts, we didn't hear that specific, or at least I don't remember. So this is a new detail. Damn, like, okay, so I mean, it was worth it doing this Christopher Nolan style uh, part three here. Uh, and yeah, I, I want to have a trilogy out on the channel. Absolutely. Was so terrified you guys. about the whole thing. Let's look at the facts. To better okay. understand the revelations, we need to understand some more context about Mel's hole. Mel's Hole is a circular pit that has a diameter measuring 9 feet 9 inches. It is Damn, surrounded by a big. stone retaining wall, which goes down for about 15 feet. That is the part that is seen, because after 15 feet, nothing but it is nothing but darkness. Yeah, that's nature, bro. After you go a little bit in, after that, it's nothing but darkness, bro. It, it'd be like that. This is why they said, do not mess around with the holes, man. Not not all holes are created equal. And you it can lead you to dangerous places, quite literally. This is a dangerous place, so don't F around with the holes all the time, guys. By the gotta, time, Mel and... You need to pick and choose your holes his wife started depositing items and dumping them in the mysterious hole they were not the first ones to do so his neighbors actually had the habit of depositing all their trash there okay whenever mel inquired from his neighbors about the hole they all claimed it had been there since they arrived 
However, they were all Classic. worried about the hole because, as much as they were depositing most of their dump there, the sound of objects dropping into it was not present. There were no mm. echoes of a thud, as you would expect after dumping something in a hole. This only meant that there was no indication of a bottom. Catching the attention of- And this is why, like, I'm convinced that the- whatever they were throwing did not hit the ground, but it must have hit, like, the demon's head. And this is why, like, whoever was sitting down there, a demon perhaps, getting hit with, like, stones, getting hit with the garbage, getting hit with the fridge on their head. I mean, obviously anybody would be mad. It's like one of those things, right? Like, you're sitting watching this video, and your spouse comes, your little bro comes in, your little sister, or whoever you got in your family running around. You're watching the video, and somebody just slap and wanks your head off. Obviously, you're gonna, like... You're gonna be mad. So simple logic, I'm on the demon side in this one, guys. ...of Mel Waters, Absolutely. he became even more curious about the hole. And with that, he also became more determined to uncover the mystery of the hole. The first thing he would do is find <laughs> out if it had a bottom. <laughs> this man casually dropping a stone down. However, at this point, the only question that is going around is, how deep did it really go? Yeah. Better yet, what was in the hole that shocked the entire world? The entire? Keep watching to find out. Okay. Since Damn, Mel was a very enthusiastic fisherman, he had lots of spools of fishing line. So, to find the bottom of the hole, he would start by lowering something. He attached a weight of one pound to the line and started lowering it. Let's just say that he was surprised as the line went further. In the end, the line descended for an insane 4,500 feet, which is the full length of the reel. Even more shocking was the fact that it never seemed to hit the bottom. Even though this was a setback, Mel reeled the weight up. And when it finally got to the surface, it was completely dry, which means it never touched any water. Mel never gave up and decided to replace the weight with a roll of lifesavers on his second try. This time, he was sending it down, hoping to discover some water at the depths. But when he reeled up the lifesavers after reaching maximum length again, they were very dry. Mel yeah. had to go back to the drawing board and figure a out how to go deeper into the hole. So, he connected spool after spool of fishing line to go further. Okay. However, even at a depth of 10,000 feet, there didn't seem to be any sign of a bottom. Holy but he wasn't crap. going to stop there, as he was... Did they physically go inside that deep? Yeah, we, we heard that, like, yeah, they, they try to go down, like, 80,000 meters, which is uh, roughly 10,000 uh, feet, right? And they couldn't find bottom even then. I thought, like, they... Okay, uh, he said the fishing line, so I'm assuming, like, they, they, they use the fishing line, not necessarily a person went down that deep, right? Or did the person go... Wait, I'm, I must have misheard. Correct me in the comments, for sure. I don't want to... was determined it. to find out if the hole had a bottom. At the end of his trials, he had deployed lines about 80,000 feet, okay, lines, which is yeah. well over 15 miles. But even with all that, his search for answers was fruitless, as he never found the bottom of the hole. Yeah, damn, homie. Finding the bottom proved to be completely fruitless. But in his search for answers, Mel ended up discovering something else. Whenever he approached the hole to continue his quest to find the bottom, he noticed that his dogs had completely avoided the mysterious hole. <laughs> Not only that, yeah. but they would dig in their feet whenever he tried to force them to get close. Yeah, they had their parking brakes on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, dogs were around and they're like, okay, let me park right here. <laughs> they were like, let me just park it right here. So I, I understand. This is why I said, guys, hide your chihuahuas, hide your dogs. Don't let your dogs out. Sometimes so it's better hole, to not to. It was as though they were sensing some mysterious force emanating from the hole. Furthermore, yeah. something else that never really stood out until later was the lack of any sign of wildlife or insects in the area surrounding the hole. The only wildlife that would be spotted close to the hole were just some birds flying around. This really caught Mel's interest, and he decided to discuss it with his neighbours. When he asked them whether their dogs were showing the same behaviour near the hole, they all confirmed that to be true. Mm -hmm. It seemed that all dogs were sharing the same feeling about the hole. There yeah. was some mysterious force coming. Be because dogs are like, you know what? They collectively have high IQ. It's just us humans that are like, e, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Dogs are like, no, bro. Like, we all disagree with that completely. That's the dog. Shout out to the dogs out there, man. From it. However, the stories kept getting even more frightening. It seems as though the hole keeps on getting even more mysterious the more Mel looks into it. 
But how mysterious does it really get? Mm. Stick around to find out. Uh -oh. As Mel and his neighbors were discussing more about the hole and the odd behavior of their dogs, one neighbor gave one of the most chilling stories ever about the hole. The neighbor claimed that not so long ago, from the time they were having this conversation, his dog passed away. Oh, Instead of yeah. burying the dog, he decided to bid it farewell by disposing of the body in the hole. After doing that, he never really thought much. Man, I don't know about that one though. Like, uh, cause listen, I don't have a pet, but I want to, but my mom's just not letting, which is okay, fine. You know what I mean? Like, cause it's a responsibility after all. And uh, eventually I want to have a cat, but like, if you have a pet, it becomes your family member, right? It, it, it really becomes a family member and it passes away. It, yeah, it's, it's sad. Yeah, it's a loss of life. It's sad. But w would you then like drop it an experiment like that i don't know about that one I, I if my pet passed away i wouldn't do that actually because like that's you know what i'm saying like even though it passed away but it's like you don't wanna i don't know maybe it's just me maybe some of you guys would be like yeah okay my dog passed away that whatever like i'll just test it out i'll drop it and test it probably not like i'm not convinced about that i don't know much about Thoughts? it since Agree, they were disagree. already used to dumping things in holes however a few days later as he was just walking around the property, he spotted a dog running through a wooded area. It was not until he looked at it keenly that he came to learn that it was actually his dead dog, spotting Damn. it by the familiar collar. But when he tried calling out to the dog, it refused to respond. Yay. The neighbor claimed that it was else. as though the dog was unaware of its past life or its owner's identity. But could it be possible that it was a dog from another dimension? Let's just say this was very odd, and it never sat right with the neighbor. Or, 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 or simply, right? Like, what if it was just a different dog that looked the same, right? Like, listen, some dogs, they look the same. I know, like, if you actually have a pet, then it's easily, like, you know, like, the way they behave, you know how they are. But, but like, but still, though, like, dogs, it's like, probably must have been, like, the same looking dog, maybe, you know? From this, a lot of theories would emerge. One of them was that this was a dog from another dimension that looked exactly the same. But, just like we said, this was just... Nah, I'm thinking it's from this dimension, but like, different looking dog and a different dog, but that looks the same. One of the theories. Or maybe not. Also, maybe not. from this, there were multiple bizarre stories that were emerging. And with the fishing line going even deeper, Mel yeah. eventually found fishing himself line, okay. wondering more than he could understand. Let's just say that he ended up having more questions than he had answers to. Yeah. Be I mean, the holes definitely do change as people. Uh, I, I'm not surprised, like, dog got changed going through the hole, man. Like, the, this is why I say, do not F around with the holes. The holes will change. <laughs> the holes will change you. Not all holes are, guys. Uh, not all holes are good, guys. So be because of the there. intensity of this mystery, Mel needed someone else to help him understand what was going on. Okay. Since it was 1997, there was only one place that he could go to discuss the strange and otherworldly. This was on the podcast of Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell. Mm, yeah. The show was mainly broadcast from the high desert of the great American Southwest. The show would reach hundreds of stations worldwide, recording an incredible 10 million listeners. Mm. Furthermore, if anyone could shed That's light insane. on Mel's situation at the time, it was our if you guys are new here man it would be a pleasure to have you let's get to 10 subscribers here uh we do ufo content paranormal content and if you want to help support the channel also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button uh if you want to help support the channel check it out all right let's get back to the content here boo boo art bell and his audience mel was determined to find answers about this hole and so on february 24 1997 he took the bold step to send art a message in the message, he detailed his whole experience with the hole, from how he has sunk 80,000 feet of fishing line to how he never heard the echo of an old refrigerator that they dumped with his wife hitting the bottom. Yeah. This was a very detailed message, and yeah. he made sure that he gave as many details as possible to get people interested. This is why I was saying earlier, bro, like, uh, imagine the demon was sitting down there, gets hit with the fridge. It's like game over after that, bro. After sending this message, it wasn't long before Art called. And within a few hours of sharing, Mel's hole had become a worldwide sensation. And just like that, Mel would gradually be invited to several shows where he would unveil more and more details about the mysterious phenomenon. 
Yeah. This move by Mel yielded both positive and negative results. On the positive side, Mel was able to receive some valuable advice from people all over the world who listened to him. Some of the suggestions included telling him to use a laser to measure the distance to the bottom. People also advised him to use radar oh, to assess the distance. All these were solid pieces of advice, yeah. some of which he might have never thought of. But anything with a positive side has a negative side. As much as he managed to get feedback from people worldwide, now millions knew that the hole existed. This was all thanks to his radio revelations. During the show, he would drop some clues about the hole's location, yeah. and because of this... And, and, and at this point, it's like billions know about the, about the hole, but it's like, has anybody ever seen it? You know what I'm saying? Like, has anybody ever seen it? Uh, and the story is like... Um, uh, yeah, this is like one of the plot twists, right? But I don't want to reveal the climax, wait for the climax. The plot twist is that I said it earlier. You know what? I'm not going to say it because, yeah, then it's like, it's always as good when you do not know the story, right? You probably know it, but you probably don't. If you know it, I don't want to confirm it, right? I won't give the climax, but I was uh, almost about to give the, the plot twist away. And, uh, okay, let's keep it going. Simple act. His life changed forever. You see, just a day after the initial broadcast and sharing in detail about the hole on the radio, he didn't anticipate that he would find his entrance blocked upon returning to his property on that day. However, it wasn't blocked by regular people, but by the US military. Yes, the government had heard about the hole and they wanted to explore it themselves. After the Friday night show, Mel started noticing some helicopter activity around the property. That's not good. This went on for a few days, given that people, including the government, wanted to see the hole for themselves. According to Mel, the hole affected the environment around it. For some reason, animals avoided it, but plants thrived. Furthermore, radios were acting strangely when they came close to the hole. Whenever a radio was brought near the hole, it immediately started making static noise. And even if it tried to be tuned, it was of no use. Yeah. However, there were times when the radio would pick up a signal, but it seemed to be coming from somewhere else. Mel recalled that one day, as he was just listening to the radio at his house, it started playing what he described as old-time music. When he tried to change the channel, he ended up tuning into a baseball game. The first thought that crossed his mind was that it was just the first baseman. However, Upon listening keenly, he realized this was not a game being played. In fact, it was a game that had been played in 1967, which was 30 years ago. Everything about this hole was just off. There were some unexplainable things that were going on around the hole that could not be explained, not even by scientists. But what else happened as a result of this hole? And did Mel eventually find out the mysteries that lie with the hole? Keep watching to find out for yourself. Before finding out if there was anything else that was off about the hole, let's go back to the night of the call with Art and Mel. Uh -oh. That night, the call went on for about an hour. This was Damn. a full hour of Mel just explaining his thoughts about the hole and what he thought it was all about. Uh, okay, I get it. Like, he was, um, you know, liking the hole a little bit too much and he was describing, like, what was going on and... <laughs> and all that but like damn can a brother get like a pinpoint location on the map and has anybody ever seen the the, the hole right uh, and has anybody seen like at least the location does anybody know where it's located because we assume it's like there 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 but where where i'm assuming in my mind it's like somewhere in, like in washington that, that's what i'm assuming but I, I don't even know where it's at i don't even know and we out on the trilogy this is a trilogy damn it this is part three and I don't know where the hole is at bro. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I hope we find out. And so after the call Mel naturally went back home. But upon getting home he found a roadblock that was being manned by armed military soldiers. Yeah. When he looked around he also saw signs of heavy machinery being brought in. When he Thanks. asked what all this was about he was told that they were all here because of a plane crash that had happened on the property. Lies. This did not sit Lies. right with Mel, or anyone else for that matter, because there were no reports or sightings of fire or smoke. Even though he was the one who shared the news about the hole, and even though it was somehow on his property, Mel is denied access until a complete investigation of the supposed crash <laughs> is done. Yeah. Whenever he requested to speak to the person in charge, a man... 
We know, like, com what complete investigation means. We know. And in civilian clothes approached him and informed him that the land might no longer be his. And as a way to threaten Mel to leave completely, the man claimed that they would find a drug lab on the property if he doesn't comply. Die. Angered by the man's boldness to just take away his property, Mel threatened him by saying that he would go to the press and talk. And the man in charge, thinking Mel was just bluffing, told yeah, him to go ahead cute. since no one would believe his words. What the man didn't know was that Art Bell and his audience would believe Mel, given that he had already told them about the hole. A few days later, Mel received a phone call from Art. You guys think that this is like reverse psychology tactic, uh, tactic in this story? Because it's like, yeah, right? Nobody knows where the hole is at. Nobody knows where Mel's went. Nobody knows if this is like really true or not but now that we hear the fact that they in this story that the government is telling the guy potentially that if you tell the world nobody's gonna believe it but he's like i'm gonna tell tell people and he uh the narrator the narrator narrator is saying yeah people believe do you think that's like a reverse psychology trick to make people believe now i'm not saying that the story is uh bogus or fake i'm just i, I just want to ask like, i'm asking for uh i need answers I just demand answers. I demand where it's the, the where the holes at, and did anybody seen it? And it's like maybe somebody has, but if you have, do you even know if that was the said Mel's hole? It's like one of those things, right? Like you must check out part two after this one because part two was done by the Y Files, great channel. Most of you already know, and that video is like really, really gonna answer a lot of these questions. And we went deep. This is part three, so there has been some new details that have emerged, and we still got a, a plot twist and climax coming up. So let's wait for that. But after that, definitely check out part two, guys. Part one as well. Wanted an update on the definitely situation. Part two. It was during this call that Mel revealed information that would have everyone more interested and completely terrified at the same time. Yeah, Mel yeah, claimed yeah, yeah. that a neighbor saw what seemed to be a dark beam coming from the hole, piercing through the clouds. However, it is important to note that Mel was not the one who witnessed this. Art Bell and other curious listeners started stating some facts about the area, claiming that this area of Washington was a hub for UFO sightings disappearances and uh -oh. other worldly occurrences yeah. there were even area mel's hole ladies and gentlemen this is where the the aliens happen you know what i'm saying like this is where they're turning the frogs gay yeah, and all that well, i mean yeah yeah man this 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 has a crazy story absolutely 110 percent. and what are the odds like it's actually real but since we don't have much evidence, since nobody really knows where exactly it's at, or nobody has seen it. I don't want to say nobody. When I say nobody, what I truly mean is that most majority of people, and when I, what I mean by majority of the people is that, like, all, mostly all of us here, right? Maybe there's, like, one or two person out there that have seen it, and they're like, <laughs> you know, and nobody's gonna find out, uh, only I know. Uh, and it's, like, one of those things. If somebody has really seen it, and somebody really knows, and they comes out tomorrow, and they are like, okay, I know where the hole's at, are you even gonna believe? Because in my mind, I'm thinking a lot more people have come forward in the past, and people are always gonna come forward and say that, I know where the Mel's hole... People are always gonna say, I know where the Mel's hole at, but it's like... Nobody's gonna believe him, right? Because there probably has been so many people saying the same thing. So how do you know who's telling the truth and how do you know who's telling the lies? It's Majority is probably gonna sp say the lies, but maybe there's one guy out of thousands that came forward talking about this Mel soul. Maybe they were speaking the truth, but it's just one of those things you just won't know. And it's, it's very, very hard, right? You, you feel what I'm saying? Agree, disagree, thoughts? Even those who claimed that there were a lot of paranormal happenings around the area. Just as these claims were coming in, there were also those who came up with theories to support them. One such theory that listeners raised was that the hole might be on the ley line. They claimed that this hole was some sort of portal to another dimension, or maybe yeah. even through time. They further explained that anything tossed in there just vanished and possibly accumulated in a mysterious pile in another dimension. You know, basically a heap of garbage made of old appliances and unfortunate animals. Another caller once raised the theory that this might be a tunnel to the hollow earth. You know, like a subway going through the middle of the earth. All sorts of theories were brought up about the hole, where it led, or what exactly it was. However, sadly enough, none of these theories could actually be confirmed by anyone. 
Callers on Art Bell's show would talk about their ideas, and they would all just discuss them in length. Out of curiosity, Art Bell went to investigate the property to see the hole for himself. <laughs> However, just like Mel himself, he couldn't make it to the point where the hole was. Since he still wanted some answers, he decided that it was best to ask some locals about the hole. This was the only way he could gather more information about the hole. So somebody really? It was during this quest that an elderly neighbour revealed something a bit interesting about the hole. The neighbour claimed that a long time ago, there used to be some stone columns around the hole. This was very interesting information, given that it might have signified something. However, this information proved to be a dead end. Mm. When Mel went to the show to talk about the weird hole, he received immense support from people, most of whom were interested in the hole. On the what, what year was it? What year was it? I'm assuming like 90s or early 2000s? What, what year? On the other hand, there were those who were very much against his confessions, saying that it was a terrible idea. Most of these claimed that the government might be listening, and true to their words, the government was listening, and they got to the hole before Mel could even go back home. As the show ended, Mel promised to return with an update on the hole and any new he information he might have learned. He never did, but right? But unfortunately, yeah. on the day that he was supposed to give an update, he was a no-show. Furthermore, even when his house was called, he never picked up. Never but picked what up. could have happened to him in such a short time? Worried about his well-being, the television crew decided to go up to Ellensburg to find out what happened to Mel. But upon getting there, they were met with something so confusing that it made no sense. There was no hole where Mel had explained it. Not only that, but when they looked around, they found lots of military blueprints and intel that greatly suggested the presence of the military. It was clear that they were either here or they were still there. Yeah, the military, they filled the hole up, yeah. And earlier they were worried that, hey man, we're throwing so much into it, why is the hole not filling up? The government got involved and they filled the hole up, yes. All that ended there until new information came to light three years later. Three years later, Mel came forward and claimed that he was offered about $3 million annually Damn. to lease his property. Damn. And of course, it goes without saying that he was leasing it to the government and yeah. they wanted to keep this under wraps. On that note... Can a brother get two pennies though? There was a huge catch to this deal. Mel had to sign a non-disclosure agreement, pack his stuff and leave the country immediately. And he was not only leaving the country, but he was never to return to the country under any circumstances. Yeah, imagine Without that. hesitating, Mel took the offer and left the country, setting yeah. up his life in Australia. Yeah, if this is really true, like, I don't blame the guy. It's like, you know, you only live once and it's like, you, you, after all, you told the world about the whole, right? Uh, but then it's like the, the government got involved, if this is really true, and they potentially have said that they're gonna kill him uh, if he does not comply and it's like and they're like okay we'll give, we'll give you how about three million okay we're gonna give you three milli uh, and he takes it goes to australia but what happens after that i don't know why why he did what he did and I mean, nobody knows whether the story is real or not first of all it's like yeah but three million that's crazy and especially for the time i'm assuming late 90s early 2000s for that three million a lot still is a lot don't get me wrong still is a lot though you know you if you invested uh well, then you, you, you don't have to work after that. However, unlike agreed on the non-disclosure agreement, he still returned to the country, but for a valid <laughs> reason. You see, when he was leaving the country, he had to leave his family behind. Yeah. This means leaving his wife and children behind and going away forever. That was too... Bro, that, that's like crazy, man. Like, yeah, right? Like, I always say, hide your kids, hide your wives, but don't leave them behind, though! Don't leave them behind like that. It's like, man, uh, man, he thought that he was going for a bag of milk. Bro, no, you were going to Australia with three million in hands, bro. With three million. Maybe not in hands, but like in a bank account. But like still three million in hands. Like, hide your kids, hide your wives. But not. Nah, don't leave them behind like that, bro. Too much to handle. So, two years after leaving the country, he started missing his family. Yeah. And because of that, he Aww. decided to sneak back into the States just to see his family. Oh, man. Initially, he was warned against doing something as stupid as this. However, because of the love he had for his family, he still did it anyway. 
During his visit, Mel ended up doing something a bit stupid, which changed a lot of things. While in the States, he decided that it was best to call Art. During the call, he told Art Bell that he would spill the beans on the radio. However, he was a no-show on the day he was supposed to appear on air. Again, huh? But how is that possible? What could have possibly happened to him? According to Mel's recollection, on the day he was supposed to be on air, he was boarding a bus to visit his nephew. However, as they are on the road, an altercation breaks out, which ends up with the police being called. Eventually, everyone was questioned and they shuffled into a different bus. It was at this point that life decided to throw a curveball at Mel, because shortly after boarding the bus, he blacked out. Damn. The next thing that Mel remembers is waking up in San Francisco. And yeah. upon asking around, he learned that it had been 12 days since he was last conscious. But the details become even stranger. Mel remembers waking up in an alleyway oh. without his wallet or keys. He also claimed that his arm was throbbing with pain, and upon inspecting himself, he noticed that he had needle holes and tape marks from an IV. No. As he is regaining his consciousness and his senses start reconnecting the dots, he tastes blood in his mouth. It is at this point that he discovers that his back teeth have been removed, but that's not all for Mel's story. <clears throat> it seems as though, from here, his life takes nothing but a downward spiral. Even before he could get his life together and figure out where he was or what to do, he seemed to have some legal problems. For some reason, he faces charges for illegal construction, power lines, septic tanks and paved roads. However, it is important to note that Mel did not put that there. In fact, his property belonged to the government for the two years that he was not even in the country. But despite all that, Mel ends up losing everything. Yeah. As if that was not enough torture for Mel, about two days after he made the call to Art claiming that he would spill the beans, his bank account was emptied. Damn. It seemed as though the government was determined to ruin his life and yeah. make sure that he never talked about anything that happened. D yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, this is one of those things that makes me want to believe in the story, but it, it, it's like we don't know. We really have no idea whether all of this is true or not, right? Like, do we have any evidence? Do we have any proof of that? Like, that the military actually did what we're hearing. Because if they did, then yeah, like, I I'm willing to believe the story. I'm willing to believe that there were, uh, you know, uh, this uh, hole is paranormal uh, and that the, the UFOs were coming out of it. Like, it's a hole for potentially maybe like a different dimension. Then sure. But like, is this story real? Is this story real? How you guys feel on it right now? Happened, But they were never really successful because we still learned about them. At this point, a lot of people would call in, claiming that it was all a hoax. However, Art Bell, who was known as the master of tales, decides to let Mel tell his story. On the other hand, to make sure everything that was going on was known, Art hinted that a TV crew had gone to explore the area, but there were no signs of the elusive hole. Mm. Furthermore, they claimed to have found signs of military activity. And to add a dash of intrigue, the no-fly zone was, for some reason, expanded to cover the same territory. At the time, if you were to look at the maps from Terra Server, the pre-Google Earth mapping site, you would have seen an entire area that was blacked out. No. This is a detail that is checked out today. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Can you pinpoint it on the map? I don't care whether it's like uh, they have <laughs> used a Sharpie, Microsoft a pen or something like that. I don't care whether they hit the, 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 the hole, but can you pinpoint as to where this like, ad though? I want to know where the hole's at, bro. It's been hard finding this hole, bro. Date. As much as there were people who believed what Mel was claiming about the hole, there were those who expressed their doubts. These people claimed that Mel might have stumbled upon the blacked out area on the map and claimed that it was his property. <laughs> However, Terra Server was launched about six months after Mel's first call, so there was no way he couldn't have known. However, there is a twist to this entire story, which was quite unexpected. There was uh -oh. a Native American tribe that contacted Mel, inviting him to Nevada. They claimed that they wanted him to assist in their research on another bottomless hole, just like the one he had claimed to see. 
No. The people guided him. Yeah, holy crap. Holy crap, the second hole. There was always a second hole, according to the story, right? You gotta see part two, guys. I'm telling you guys, uh, let's actually wait for the climax and uh, definitely part two. That's a must watch, okay? Part two, I feel like that is it, the best. Right, if you have seen the Batman trilogy, you know, Batman Begins, amazing, Batman Returns, oh, hell yeah, right, oh, hell yeah, Batman, then we have, the, uh, I believe, Dark Knight Rises, Rises Again, Part 3, at the end, like, Batman just goes away, right, you know what I'm saying, yeah, nobody liked that, nobody liked that, Batman goes away at the end, uh, thank you for subscribing, welcome on in, nobody liked that, right, we want Batman to stay, so Part 2 will definitely make you feel like that, guys. There. And even though he didn't go all the way up, there were discussions that involved Native Americans, the Bosque, and the Pit. The consensus between them was that everything is as it should be. They needed reassurance that Mel was not actually from CNN, the FBI, or the CIA. Okay. After all, these are always the usual suspects, always wanting to get somewhere they are not supposed to be. Yeah. After all that, Mel makes it to the hole and has a fur. They want, they want to put their nose where it don't belong. They always wanna, and especially in this hole, like everybody's trying to fill the hole up. It's like, nah, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, no, nah, leave the hole alone. First hand look, and at this point, everyone probably has the same burning question: where? What on earth was down there? And where? For the second hole. It wasn't on the Indian reservation. In fact, it was on public land used by the Bosques, an ethnic group hailing from the region between France and Spain. The Bosques settled in the US, more specifically in Nevada, in the mid-1800s, and since then, they have been using this land for sheep herding. According to their legend, this hole has been here for more than 200 years and was considered sacred. However, this hole was completely different from the one Mel discovered. Unlike Mel's hole, this one had a metal collar in lining that stretched as far as the eye could see. But it gets even more peculiar. This uh -oh. hole had some sort of warm radiation coming from it. There was some sort of heat all around it due to this radiation. In addition Yee. to that, the metal inline was not just any regular metal. When Mel accidentally dropped a tool on it, it made no sound. There were not even any vibrations. It was just total silence. This piqued Mel's interest, and together with the Bosque, they began experimenting with the hole. They started by lowering a bucket of ice down the hole for about 1,000 feet. They made sure to keep some ice at the top for control. So when the ice on the surface melted, they pulled up the one in the bucket. But to yeah. their amazement, the ice had not melted in any way. But that's not all. Even more surprising is the fact that it was no... They also drop a sheep down, right? If I'm not mistaken. So far, he did not say that. Maybe he's about to. In part two, there was that info. Uh, this one had, like, a lot of other plot lines, but... Yeah. Longer cold to the touch and remained dry. In fact, it had a texture like that of large pieces of salt. Out of curiosity, they tried to melt the ice over an open flame. And instead of melting, it caught fire and actually continued to burn for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. After a couple more experiments with ice, one of the Bosques volunteered to go down the hole. But after unanimously agreeing that it was too dangerous, they all agreed to send a sheep down there. Yeah, the okay, outcome, he, bring, he brought it in. Well, let's just say it wasn't that pleasant. Yeah. They lowered the crate containing the sheep to about 1,000 feet before coming to an abrupt stop. The sheep was left there for about 30 minutes after which it was brought to the surface. At first glance, it seemed fine, but after a bit of investigation, it was discovered to be lifeless. The moment they did an autopsy on the sheep, it seemed as though the sheep had been cooked from the inside out. However, the most striking feature was the colossal tumour that dominated the sheep's body cavity. However, it turned out that the tumour was actually some sort of fetal seal. Guys, this is part two. Uh, and part two is like much, much better, I would say. Click on this video on the screen and I'll see you right there. Definitely check it out. On the left, though, we're going we're gonna to have a normal UFO video just in case you already have seen part two. So check out both of these videos and I'll see you right there.